My name is Troy Hirschbees. I've been an independent inventor for 30 years. I'm well known on YouTube building the bear suits and the ballistic suits and many other innovations. My problem is that I do not have a university backing me. I'm not backed by a government agency. I'm not backed by anybody. At 53, I come to you. I'm putting this out there. I'm hoping that individuals like Lockyer, DuPont, Boeing, Rock West Composites Incorporated, what you're going to see is going to blow your mind away. It's my greatest innovation in my life. It's called Vulcanite H. I first started polymer-based materials 22 years ago when I first invented Hertzy. And since then, I have, well, let's take a look. Hertzy, Achilles, the FP-13, the 300, and 57 other formulas together with 7,139 test samples to date before I got to Vulcanite H. Perseverance and imagination and research. What you're gonna witness here today is a bend test. I'm gonna show the pros of Vulcanite H and I'm hoping the industry asks me one simple thing. I'm hoping this demonstration does nothing more than open the door to say, Mr. Hertzbees, Please send the samples. Now, let's take a look at something spectacular. This is acetone. It's not a deadly acid, but it's used to, it thins and breaks down resins and fiberglass. That's what it does, okay? So, we take the acetone, we put it in here. We add, it's the only thing I've got. This is a battery out of a skidoo. This is battery acid, okay? It's stupid here. Well, this is battery acid, okay? Because along with being formula specific, Vulcanite H is fireproof. I'm gonna show you that in a second. It's acid proof, UV resistant, waterproof, bullet resistant, hot and cold tolerant. It's 50 to 75% lighter than steel, depending on your thickness. It is scratch resistant. It is, it restricts creep and stretch. It will not tear, split, bulge, break, or fray on a full bend. It has a flex rebound memory ratio of 98% at a 2% strength loss. It is $7. That's kind of a big deal per square foot at a quarter inch thick. You want to try carbon fiber at that? Hundreds of dollars. This is the game changer. Here's the acid, battery acid. Here we go. This piece, this, this uh, uh, original piece that we have bent five times in this machine and it's still so strong you can't you know you, ten men couldn't couldn't even couldn't even flex that in, in, in a millionth of a degree. I'm gonna take that. It's now in the acid and it's gonna remain there. That's battery acid and that's acetone and it's gonna remain there. Alright, so it's a, a propane torch. Well light on fire. Let's see. How long before that? <clears throat> Hope we don't hit the smoke alarm, but it should be fine. Now, fire uh, resistant means that's on fire. This is what Volkai H does. It'll go red, it'll go hot, it won't catch fire, people. It is fireproof. It will not catch fire. It is acid proof. This is four inches. This is mild steel. Here's the piece right here. Just bought it today so everybody knows. Right there from the hardware store, $17.49. It's two inches wide and this comes in, if I'm not mistaken, uh, a three foot long stretch piece and it's one eighth plate steel. Okay? So there's a sample. What do we got? 119 grams just like it says on top of it. All right. So we got that at one eighth. Okay. So here is the same metal. Okay. All right. Plate on plate. So now we're four inches long, two inches wide, two eighths thick, mild plate steel. Here we go. Grams, 240 grams. That's two eighths of a plate steel. We're gonna put that on there and we're gonna bend it and we're gonna see what kind of PSI and bar it takes to bend that up against my Vulcanite. And then the ultimate of ultimate. This is my baby. This is the test sample today, right? Exact, here's the difference. Four inches long. Two inches wide, three eighths of an inch thick, 
83 grams. So here's how it's done. This is really simple, okay? So what you do is, you have this set up in the middle, okay? The plate, this is 1 8th. So 4 by 2 by 1 8th plate, 119 grams. Simply goes up like that. The jack is now put into motion. Okay, now it's tight, okay? Hasn't registered yet. Okay, here's the steel at 1 8th. Here we go. Simple as can be. Watch what happens. All I do is, I just keep pressing this. There's the gauge, and it's gonna show you. That's it. You're looking at 100 PSI. That's it, 100 PSI. Look at, look at it bending. There's your plate steel. That's it, that's 100 PSI. That's all you get. Okay, so here we go. We tighten back up. And now, just so, you know, there's no misunderstanding. There's the sample I'm gonna be going against. We're gonna put that right there for you, right here. Okay, this one we're going next. We turn this on, plates, two plates, four inches long, two inches wide, two eighths of plate steel. 240 grams, folks. So we take this 240, and we'll see what this can do. We know that one eighth was 100 PSI before she bent, okay? So here we go. Let's see what two eighths can do. Okay, so here we go. My first one you saw, 100 PSI. Let's see what double the thickness can do. Big improvement, eh? Look at that. Now we're at 200 PSI. Do you see the zero? Mild steel, there it is, done. Right, look at that, look at that. I mean, you think I'm joking here, folks? That's solid, that's solid. That's 2 eighths plate steel. Right, there we are, there's 1 eighth, there's 2 eighths. So 100 PSI to bend it that much, 200 PSI to bend it that much. Okay, there we are. Tighten it up, here we go. As good as you're gonna get a Vulcanite H. This sample is four inches in length. It is two inches in width. It's three eighths of an inch thick. It weighs 83 grams, a fluctuate between 80 and 83 grams. There you go. Now this is gonna go in the chute and we're gonna see. This is a big step, folks. Hey, look, if I beat two eighths inch, that's 66% lighter. But it's not, it's not that what you want to watch out for. I'm going to tell you what you want to watch out for. Watch when it bends, how it comes back. So here we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'll take it. Beautiful. 200 PSI. So I hit 200 PSI. That's fine. I've got no problem with that at all. And that's a complete bend. So 200 PSI. She hit 200 PSI. This is a bad boy, okay? This is 3 8 plate steel, which is the same thickness as my test sample going in. Look at that bad boy. Here we go. This is a monster. There it is. That's going up against this. I hope the bars don't bend. Don't bend, baby. Look at that. That's not even going to hit 400. Look at that. That's a complete bend. Look at that. It won't hit 400 PSI. I'm stunned. That's it. That's it, guys. 370 PSI. 4 by 2 by 3 eighths plate steel, mild steel. 375 PSI. You know what goes in next? Vulcanite H. I don't need my critics looking and saying, well, you know, Mr. Herchabees, you're not a material scientist, and here's the problem. When you take a single piece of plate steel. And yes, mild steel, it's good steel, it's strong steel, there's no doubt about it. But what you did, Mr. Herchabees, the one you matched, where you put two plates on top of each other, and yes, indeed, you were almost 70% lighter, and you matched it 200 PSI, 200 PSI in a bend, yours came back, there's nothing else in the world, blah, 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 but here's your problem. It would not be as strong, Mr. Herchabees, because what you've done is you put a plate on top of a plate and you've taped it. If it was one solid piece, it would be stronger. Okay, okay, that's a control. I have to match the control. So, we're gonna go up against the big boy. Here it is. Three plates, as you saw, complete bend. This took 325 PSI to bend that. That weighs 356 grams. That's three pieces taped together. Here's two pieces of Vulcanite H. Here's two pieces, okay? A little thicker, absolutely. Not saying it's not, but here's two pieces. The same thing. So it's not one solid piece. I want to be exact. So I'll take two pieces of Vulcanite and I'll take them together and I'll do the same test. Here we go. 
137 grams against 355 grams. That's 60% lighter than steel. I'm 60% lighter. Let's do the test. And we've got one on top of the other. Okay, I want to keep it fair. I want to keep it fair. Okay, I want to keep it fair. So, that's what we do. We're going to do another one. And what I have to match is 325 PSI. That's what the Big Daddy did of steel. 3 8 plate steel at 355 grams. I'm a mere 136 grams, so I'm 60% lighter. And I'm stacked one on top of another, just like I did with the steel. So there can be no, you know, well, your piece was solid and the steel wasn't. Okay, no problem. I understand fully. I understand fully. Here we go. I'm going to do the exact same test with Vulcanite H. And I'm going to put one on top of the other. Tape together so there's no, there's no discrepancy here, folks. I want to keep this as fair as can be. There it is. Okay, now, let's see how many PSI I can hit. I'm still, when I'm going up against the Big Daddy at 355 grams, 3 8 plate steel, stacked upon stacked upon stacked, I'm still 60% lighter. Let's see what happens. Let's see what I can register on this. Okay, here we go. How's that, boys? How's that? Matched it, matched it, matched it, matched it. 375, I beat it. I beat it. By God in heaven, I beat it. I beat it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Almost 400 PSI. I beat it, and I'm 60% lighter. I beat it straight up. Look at that bend. Look at that bend. Yes, I beat it. I, I, I beat it. This is no tricks. I beat it. 60% lighter, and I beat 3 8 plate steel. Straight up, same test. I stack plate upon plate. I tried it just singly, and I matched 2 8 plate. 66% lighter. I've got the critics out there. Well, you know, it's not all one. I took two pieces of Vulcanite H, and I taped them together. Still 60% lighter. And I beat it. I beat it. 375 PSI on a full bend, I beat it. Now let's take a look at it. Oh man, I'm so happy. Look at the pressure that took. Look at it, look at it, look at it. That, was, that, that bend was complete. Look at it, look, look at it already shaping. Look at this, look at this. Don't tell me I don't know what I have, folks. Look, people, uh, I'm, I'm not saying, you know, carbon fiber's garbage. I'm not saying anything is. All I'm saying is give me a chance. If somebody out there knows somebody, get this to the right people. I'm telling you, I've got samples. I just want to get this in the hands of the big boys so they can test it themselves. Vulcanite H, you saw it, is fireproof. It's acid proof. Acid has no effect on it. It's UV resistant. It has a weight to strength ratio. Tensile tests are going to prove that. That's all I want. But on a bend test, look at that. Look at it coming back already. Look at, do you see any splits, people? Do you see any? Do you see a tear? I'm going, to, I'm going to tear that open for you so you can see. And it's going to come back to its original shape. I mean, people, holy jeez, I'm, I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I'm, I, I can't believe I did that. I beat it. People, I nearly beat it straight up. 60% lighter. And I hit 375 PSI. And the big daddy. There it is, folks. Here, one more time so you see there's, there's, there's no... Here it is. Look, that's three plate. That The weight difference on this is staggering. 357 grams. Against... My 136 grams. I'm 60% lighter. Look at it already coming back. Look, look, look. Oh, geez, I've got a, I'm shaking, I'm shaking. Let me split this out here. Follow the camera. So you see it? There it is, folks. I'm telling you, I'm working in my living room. You think I'm joking? I'm working in my living room. And that's what I'm trying to say to the industry. If it ever gets your way, folks, you ask any material scientist under the conditions I'm working, I'm telling you, it's Spock. Bare skins and stone knives. You put this in a lab, you put this under uh, uh, proper industrial uh, 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 mechanized uh, machinery where it's done uniform and you're going to increase the strength and the properties of Vulcan IH by at least 20%. Could you comprehend that? I mean, look what I just did. It's beyond comprehension. Look at people. Come on. Come on. This is not a joke. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look, look, look at it coming back. Look, look. That's, that's one of the materials. That's not